Hello everyone, praise be to God. Word of the Lord to you today is that be still. Be still and know that He is God. Though the storms keep raging, be still. The Lord works better in still situations. When you come, when you turn over everything to Him and wait on Him. God normally talks to us in a still, small voice. But how can you hear His voice when you've got so much around you? If you're not settled in your mind, or if you're not at rest, rest in Him. Turn over everything to Him so that He can go to work. God loves you. You're His child. He's got a plan. Don't let those circumstances keep you awake at night. Cheer up. He's got you covered like a mother hen covers her chicks. The book of John chapter 14 verse 1 says that don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. The book of 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 115 shows how Elijah the prophet freed to Herob because he feared for his life. He freed to Herob which is the mountain of God. This means that when Elijah got afraid, he went to God. He freed to God. He went in the presence of God. The book of 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 9 to 18 says that there he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very serious for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I'm the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very serious for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with a sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came, and go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazel king over Aram, also anoint Jeshu son of Nimshi king over Israel, and anoint Elisha, son of Shaphet, from Abel, Mehola, to succeed you as a prophet. Jeshu will put to death any who escaped the sword of Hazel, and Elisha will put to death any who escaped the, the sword of Jeshu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel, whose knees have not bowed down to Baal, whose mouths have not kissed him. Going back to verse 11 to 12, it says that, the Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. So Elijah was in God's presence because he was on the mountain of God. And he was sensitive enough to know when God was speaking. When he heard a gentle whisper, he knew that that was the Lord. It's possible to have so many voices around you that might seem as if they are from God, but are not from God at all even when you're in God's presence. But you need to be still and know when God is speaking. Be sensitive to his voice. As soon as Elijah knew that the Lord was speaking in verse 13, he came out of the cave and God told him what to do next. God is speaking. God is there. But can you hear him? Not every voice you hear is from God, though they might sound as if they are from God. So be sensitive to know when God is speaking. To finish off, God wants you to be still. 
Be still and know that he's God over the situation. Be sensitive to his voice. Move when he says move. Elijah was sensitive to God's voice. When he heard God's voice, he was able to come out of the cave and do what God told him to do. Thanks everyone.